Dates, those sweet and chewy fruits cherished for centuries, are renowned for their numerous health benefits. Rich in fiber, vitamins, and minerals, these small marvels have earned the title of superfood for many. Whether enjoyed raw or incorporated into energy bars and smoothies, dates have become a staple in many households. However, despite their impressive nutritional profile, dates may not be suitable for everyone. While they can be a healthy addition to most diets, certain health conditions or medications may warrant caution before indulging in these sweet treats. In this video, we will explore the common side effects of dates and why you might need to avoid them if you have specific health issues or are on certain medications. Some side effects may also arise not from existing conditions or medications, but from how individuals consume dates. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of when to enjoy dates, how to use them wisely to maximize their benefits, and when to choose alternative snacks. We will also review scientific insights on the best times and methods for consuming dates to minimize potential side effects. First, let's discuss the conditions where you should avoid dates. Number 1. Diabetes and Blood Sugar Issues while dates offer various nutritional benefits, they are also high in natural sugars, which can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels if consumed in excess. Therefore, if you have diabetes or are working to manage your blood sugar levels, you should be cautious with date consumption. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, a single medjool date contains about 18 grams of carbohydrates, with 16 grams coming from sugars. To put this into perspective, that's nearly as much sugar as in four regular Oreo cookies. Eating several dates at once can lead to significant blood sugar fluctuations. In addition to their high sugar content, dates are also relatively calorie dense. Each medjool date has around 66 calories, which might not seem much individually, but consuming multiple dates can quickly add up and contribute to a calorie surplus, potentially leading to weight gain over time. If you are also aiming to maintain a healthy body weight, moderation is key. For individuals with diabetes, these blood sugar spikes can be particularly concerning. Rapid increases in blood sugar may hinder your body's ability to produce enough insulin to regulate it effectively. Over time, consistently high blood sugar levels can lead to severe complications such as nerve damage, kidney issues, and a higher risk of heart disease. So, what can you do if you want to enjoy the taste and nutritional benefits of dates but have diabetes? The answer lies in moderation and careful blood sugar monitoring. While the general recommendation for individuals without diabetes is two dates per day, you might need to limit yourself to just one or even avoid them altogether if they cause your blood sugar to spike. If you're uncertain, Consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian specializing in diabetes management to determine how many dates, if any, can be safely included in your diet based on your specific blood sugar goals and medication regimen. Number 2. Digestive Issues Another important factor to consider with dates is their carbohydrate content. Dates are classified as a high FODMAP food, which means they contain specific types of carbohydrates that may not be well absorbed in the small intestine, potentially causing digestive discomfort for some individuals. FODMAPs, which stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols, are short-chain carbohydrates that can ferment in the large intestine. Dates contain two types of FODMAPs, fructose, a monosaccharide, and sorbitol, a polyol. When these FODMAPs reach the large intestine undigested, they can attract water into the bowel and cause fermentation, leading to symptoms like bloating, gas, abdominal pain, and diarrhea in sensitive individuals or those with irritable bowel syndrome IBS. However, it's important to note that not everyone with IBS or FODMAP sensitivity will necessarily react negatively to dates. Tolerance levels can vary from person to person, and some may be able to enjoy small amounts of dates without significant digestive issues. If you suspect that dates might be causing your digestive problems, it's wise to reduce your intake or avoid them altogether. Later in the video, we'll discuss a proven method recommended by medical experts for those who are sensitive to dates, allowing them to enjoy dates without experiencing digestive discomfort. Number 3. 
tooth decay and dental issues. Although dates are often praised for their nutritional benefits, their high sugar content and sticky texture can contribute to tooth decay and dental issues if consumed excessively or without proper oral hygiene. Dates naturally contain high levels of sugar such as glucose, fructose, and sucrose. When you eat dates, the bacteria in your mouth consume these sugars and produce acid as a byproduct. This acid can erode tooth enamel over time, leading to cavities and tooth decay. Additionally, the sticky nature of dates allows them to cling to your teeth and gums, providing a prolonged source of sugar for oral bacteria. This extended exposure to sugar can further increase your risk of dental caries and other oral health problems. To minimize the risk of tooth decay while enjoying dates, it's important to maintain good oral hygiene. After consuming dates, be sure to brush your teeth thoroughly and floss to remove any sticky residue from between your teeth and along your gum line. If brushing isn't immediately feasible, rinsing your mouth with water can help dislodge some of the sugary particles and reduce the time they remain in contact with your teeth. If you have a history of tooth decay or are particularly prone to cavities, it may be wise to limit your intake of dates and other sugary foods. Consult your dentist to determine the best approach for maintaining optimal oral health based on your individual needs and risk factors. Number 4. Sulfite Sensitivity Dates, like many other dried fruits, often contain high levels of sulfites. These compounds are commonly used as preservatives to extend shelf life and prevent discoloration. While sulfites are generally safe for most people, some individuals may have adverse reactions due to a condition known as sulfite sensitivity. This sensitivity is particularly common among people with asthma, with up to 10% of asthmatic individuals experiencing symptoms related to sulfites, such as exacerbated wheezing or breathing difficulties. However, sulfite sensitivity can also affect individuals without asthma. If you have asthma or suspect you may be sensitive to sulfites, it's important to be cautious when consuming dates. Look for dates labeled as sulfite-free, as not all producers use sulfites in the preservation process. Number 5. People with date or pollen allergies. Although date allergies are relatively uncommon, some individuals do experience allergic reactions after consuming these sweet fruits. Allergic reactions occur when the immune system mistakenly identifies certain proteins in dates as harmful, triggering an immune response. Symptoms of a date allergy can vary from mild to severe and may include itching or tingling in the mouth, throat, or lips, hives or skin rash, swelling of the face, tongue, or throat, difficulty breathing or wheezing, abdominal pain, nausea, or vomiting. In rare cases, a date allergy can lead to anaphylaxis, a potentially life-threatening reaction. Additionally, people with pollen allergies, especially those allergic to grass, ragweed, or tree pollen, might experience oral allergy syndrome when eating dates. This occurs when the proteins in certain raw fruits and vegetables, including dates, cross-react with pollen proteins, leading to mild allergic symptoms like itching or tingling in the mouth and throat. If you suspect you have a date allergy or experience concerning symptoms after eating dates, it's important to consult with an allergist. They can perform skin prick tests or blood tests to determine if you have a true date allergy or if your symptoms are related to other allergies, such as pollen. If a date allergy is confirmed, the best approach is to avoid consuming dates entirely. Be sure to read food labels carefully, as dates are often included in products like energy bars, baked goods, and snack mixes. Remember, while date allergies are rare, they can still have serious consequences for those who are affected. Number 6. People on certain medications. While dates are generally safe for most people, they can interact with certain medications, especially those used to manage blood sugar levels. As previously mentioned, Dates are high in natural sugars, which can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar levels. For individuals taking medications like insulin or oral hypoglycemic agents to control their blood sugar, consuming dates may interfere with the effectiveness of these treatments. 
Excessive or unplanned consumption of dates could lead to unexpected blood sugar spikes, making it harder to maintain stable glucose control and possibly necessitating adjustments in medication dosage or timing. Dates are also rich in potassium, a mineral essential for heart function and muscle contraction. Individuals on medications such as potassium-sparing diuretics or ACE inhibitors may need to monitor their potassium intake closely. Consuming large quantities of dates alongside these medications could lead to elevated potassium levels in the blood, known as hyperkalemia, which can impact kidney and heart function. Therefore, if you are on medications related to blood sugar or potassium regulation, or have kidney or heart conditions, it is important to consult with your doctor or pharmacist before adding dates to your diet. To maximize the health benefits of dates while minimizing potential side effects, consider the timing and method of consumption. There is no universally ideal time to eat dates, it depends on your individual health goals and concerns. For those with diabetes or blood sugar issues, it is generally recommended to consume dates as part of a balanced meal that includes fiber, protein, and healthy fats. This approach helps slow sugar absorption and minimizes rapid blood sugar spikes. It is advisable to avoid eating dates on an empty stomach or as a standalone snack to prevent significant blood sugar fluctuations. However, if you are not at risk for diabetes, consuming two dates in the morning is generally considered beneficial. For individuals with digestive issues like IBS or FODMAP sensitivity, eating dates in smaller quantities throughout the day is preferable to consuming a large amount at once. Experts also recommend soaking dates overnight, 8 to 10 hours, before eating them. This helps increase nutrient absorption and may reduce digestive issues. If you forget to soak them overnight, soaking dates for 10 to 20 minutes in warm water can also be effective. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.